Very exciting. It is almost time for the big reveal of the makeover at the Spokane Humane Society. kxy 4s Mark Peterson and the Extreme Team, they have been hard at work all week long. And kxy 4s Grace Ditzler is working for you. And Grace, before we get to that big reveal, you are going to show us what the building used to look like. Nadine, the Spokane Humane Society has been in this building for more than 40 years and they say they've only been able to do small repairs here and there when they get the funds to do so. So staff says they'll be able to do so much more with this building and it'll make the animals lives a little bit brighter. This is what the Spokane Humane Society looked like just a few days ago. Every dollar we get, uh, we put that towards the animals and whatever's left is what we're able to use to maintain the facility uh, and really, um, you know, take care of it. We do a really good job of maintaining it, but the building is just tired. It was just a little wore out. As the Extreme Team project wraps up, Executive Director Dave Richardson says he's amazed by the transformation. The ceiling tiles crumbling, um, electrical circuits. Um, we need more uh, because we've added computers and, and technology that wasn't really that prevalent in the 70s uh, and just a general um, you know general disrepair. Staff says the rundown building didn't reflect the inviting place the Humane Society is meant to be. It was dark it was not very welcoming. Um, there were places where there was duct tape on the floor, kind of holding it together where walls had been removed. Um, so it wasn't very sanitary. Um, it was old and it, it definitely needed a facelift. The Humane Society says the remodel is a huge blessing that will make the jobs of the staff easier and make the animals a little happier. Now there's going to be far less clutter. Things are going to be way more organized. Um, so it should help with efficiency. Um, and just overall morale and, and therefore help animals get adopted. And there are so many ways that this newer model is going to help the staff and the animals here at the Humane Society. And Mark Peterson here is <laughs> here to tell you guys all about it. Thank you so much. And I love the fact you've been up here and you've seen it. Oh, yeah. It's been a lot of fun. All right, everybody, uh, we're not done yet. Uh, we have plenty to do. I want to show you what's going on right now. Uh, so I, I got to tell you, we, we got in the, the new ceiling and there's no insulation up there so specialty insulation that's Justin uh, R25 is gonna go on top that's gonna be four to five hours of work we thank him for helping out and guess what it's a donation so we love him for that so thank you very much um, we have a, a lot to show you first of all all of this has completely changed. There used to be a ton of walls. The, there was taped signs everywhere. So I want to show you one of our uh, sponsors, one of our friends, and that is uh, right now Signs for Success. John, would you just put out and wave? Um, these signs are coming in. He's going to do that, but it looks like this. Catlanta. See, it's a professional sign. Absolutely beautiful. These are going to be all over the place. We have a new floor, so there's no ripped or torn tile uh, over linoleum over cement. So we've, we've done this, we've stained it. It will last forever. Uh, we are gonna have more. Coming up, GSI is here, uh, Greater Spokane Incorporated. We're gonna have a ribbon cutting ceremony. We're not gonna do that on live TV, but I have to tell you this. There's gonna be some tears because Diane Rasmussen was here. She worked here for 25 years. Again. All right, so we'll have more coming up at 6 o'clock. I oh promise you will love goodness. this. I can't wait. You know, Chris and I were out there earlier today. Aren't you glad we stopped by to help out? I'm glad that you left with all your digits. You were with sawing and cutting and we driving were. things. We were doing everything. All right. Can't wait to talk to you Perfect. at 6 and see everything. Thanks a lot, Mark. Thank you.